you always talk about Charles Brown attack today, going for 520 rushing yards. Uh, I think um, it's just a, 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 a mentality that we have up front, man. Those guys are just tremendous. Uh, just getting up, lining up, and get to the next play and playing every play hard. So uh, we got the guys in the backfield that are running hard, and we got five guys up front that play their ass off every game. So I think I love like, uh, Frank Hart. Did anyone tell you that's a conference USA record? Uh, we just uh, was talking about it as we were coming up. Uh, they said we missed a lot of yards. We was definitely going for it. But you set the you set missed the school record by one yard. You set a conference USA rushing record. That's yeah, like no team in the history of that ever had five hundred yards. So that's a blessing. Then. Yes, <laughs> that's a blessing. Uh, and they tell you we work our ass off every day. So uh, we just try and get up and play the next play, and that's what we keep doing. Was this a cigar game? Yes, sir, it definitely was. <laughs> 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 <Got> him, baby. <laughs> Traylon, what do you think about, you know, this line setting a conference record at the FBS? I mean, it's tremendous. Uh, I knew we always had the talent. Uh, we got the coaching. And, man, my guys fight hard, man. We all, we're all, we all block as one. And I'm just proud of my guys, man. And Coach Trigger was like, man, at halftime, he was like, never had 300 at a half. I was like, yeah. To get more, <laughs> donuts, right? Oh yeah, we should get, we should at least get donuts. <laughs> I'm saying we need, we need donuts. We need probably like cinnamon rolls, uh, so anything else, little dead cakes. <laughs> Malik, just what is uh, trailing and all this line you need? I mean, just I, I really just can't thank them a, a lot. You feel me? Like this is, we just come to work every day, you know. And just them knowing that we trust them, they trust us. And he always come to me, you know, on the sideline, like, follow me, follow me. Like, I'm going to get you away. It's like pretty good, you know. It's not like he's going to have to run the ball and stuff like that. I just trust him, too. Quay, I felt like you felt it looked like early on maybe you had a little bit of extra energy out there today. Just how did, how did you feel about just everything? Uh, I felt good. I, mean, I feel like that five week definitely helped us uh, regain a little bit more energy and momentum. But just going out there and trusting Coach Allen and his staff plan, and we felt comfortable. We, we prepared for two weeks straight, so we knew we were going, we were going to go out there and have a great game today. How are you guys able to generate so much pressure on the quarterback every single play, it seems? Uh, we work hard. Like they, like them boys say, in practice, that's just an emphasis. Like every week we're trying to get two to three sacks in the game, and that's just a goal for our defense. And, I feel like, you know, we take pride in that and we go to work every day and try to do that in the game on Saturdays. What about stopping the run? You guys hold them to, I think, under 50 yards this game. Right. You know, that's all, another big emphasis from Coach Allen, just stopping the run each and every game. And if we can limit the run game, we pretty much know that we're going to get pressure when they try to throw the ball. So that's going to help us out tremendously and win the game and help the offense out as well. How did you feel when you saw that that uh, pass that was deflected was a forward pass and not a fumble? You were uh, like, you're going to return it for the for the crib, for the touchdown. Right, it definitely hurt me. Like, I thought I was going to get our first touchdown here at Jackson State. But, you know, the next play, KK made a tremendous play, and he blocked a punt, and he returned it for a touchdown. So, I guess ball don't lie. <laughs> you ain't going to get a touchdown anyway, so. Just from the goal board, obviously, this next week, you know, you have your game to worry about, but there's a lot of other games that could impact if this is the last game or not. Are you guys worried about those games or is it just focused on Jack State? Uh, we just focus on Jack State football. We don't worry about the next team or the next guy. Uh, we just worry about the next team that we're about to play. Uh, so at the end of the day, we can't worry about what's going on in the future. We just gotta worry about the next game that we play. Malik, uh, I felt like in some of the the last couple games, I felt like, uh, you know, you looked maybe like you, you weren't fully healthy. I know Rich Rod said that. I mean, you look, look like you were back today. I mean, how good did you feel? I mean, it, it felt I guess it, it felt great, you know, just knowing, like, the senior day. And I think the work just put in throughout the week just to, like, make sure that I was at my top. Like, I just – I thank the training style and the coaches for just trusting and, like, just giving me the opportunity to just come out and have a day like that. You're uh, in two 60-yard carries, uh, one of which is the longest play I've had no, no, no. here. I mean, just that that first run. Can I have that back, please? I don't know. Did, That's did, my did everything just click into place, or? Like I said, I just trust them. They took me to the promised land, you know. But yeah, that's that was something like I was thinking about last night, just to you know just come out and have like an amazing play, like, first play. So yeah. Trail, what did you think that you saw? 
Great job. Yeah, like, yeah. I'll say this. I, I got to him on the side. I was like, man, I thought you were going to score. <laughs> <laughs> I was running down. Oh, yeah. We got this. Like, got slowed down a little bit. I'm like, man, come on, man. You got to get up to that. But it's all good. We end up scoring. You know, he had a couple big runs today, man. He's a great player, man. This is an offensive so, line, you know, obviously, but it's a big run like that. You got to run down there, and with the speed of this offense, you know, you guys sometimes have snapped it with like two seconds off the play clock. Right. Do you prefer, you know, what's your thoughts when you have to book it down there at 60 yards? Well, I'll say this. I know I'm tired, but I know the other team's more tired than me. So I, that's the mindset I always have. Like, I know I'll be breathing hard, but they be breathing just as hard. So, speak on that. So, like, how much of a chore is it to say that block for Zion when he's scheduling around? Oh. Man, Zion, I'll tell you what, like, Zion, Zion give me out of a set, though. I'll say that, so that's, that's why I love old 10. <laughs> Yes, Joe. Zion, after, after seven years, what, what thoughts occurred during senior day, and, and how do you feel like this senior day went for you? Uh, I think it went great for me, man. Just uh, being here one more time and being able to do it one more time on this field and with these guys, man. Uh, just to know we went through a lot this summer. Uh, just not them, but me, myself, uh, went through a lot. So just to be able to come back and do it all over again one more time, these guys, man, it was a blessing. I felt like it was probably my best senior day ever, so. That's Zion, you, you've already had, you know, like you said, your best senior day ever. You've already had a senior day. Right, did, right. did either before the game or during the game, did, did this one feel different? Did it feel the same? Um, I talked to a couple guys before the game, man. They was asking me, like, bro, do it feel different? Are you going to cry or whatnot? I was like, uh, no, nah, not really. Um, I've been here before, man. I understand what's going on. I understand how to control my emotions in this situation. So uh, I'm just taking it in. It's bittersweet, but. I just got to take me in one, one step at a time and just let it go. Are you saying you can control your emotions because next week you're going to tell us how you're coming back? <laughs> uh, hopefully not. Hopefully not. But, uh, it was good to do it one more time. On All right, we need to wrap up. Coach is on his way. One more question. Uh, Corey, for you, obviously you played at Kennesaw. You played at Yale. And, uh, how does it feel to play the, uh, finish your collegiate year here at Jacksonville State? What's one memory you'll take with you? Uh, today is probably the best memory, like Coach Rich Ross said. I'll probably remember this game for the rest of my life. And just want to say thank you to him and the whole staff, my teammates, like everyone that's been around here for welcome to be in here, a few of them. And I know I've not been here that long, a couple of months, but it's, it feels like family. And I just am forever grateful for the opportunity that everyone gave me to come here. Guys, thanks. Have a good Thanksgiving.